Are you someone on PC who likes to game and likes to record video and upload it to YouTube? Are you having issues where Fraps or DxTory are taking up lots of your frames because they are very CPU and GPU intensive? Well then this tutorial is for you. I'm going to show you in this video how to record gameplay and not lose a single frame. Using the Elgato Game Capture HD, you can record crystal clear 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second and keep the file sizes low all while losing no frame rate. Stick around to see how it's done. Before we begin the tutorial, please make sure that you have these items. One USB to mini USB which will connect the Elgato Game Capture HD to your PC or laptop. One Elgato Game Capture HD. Two HDMI cables. A PC or laptop or Mac which has HDMI output. And a monitor which has an HDMI input. And preferably, you could check this on the back of your monitor, that it has a 3.5mm audio jack. Once you have all the necessary components, you need to download the software. So, open whatever browser you have, go to GameCapture.com, and now you actually have an option. So, usually, you just hit go to download and download for whatever you need, either Mac OS X, or Windows 7 or Windows 8. But generally, Elgato is working on a beta. Now, as of recording this video, the beta is gamecapture.com slash YouTube. This latest beta enables you to stream live to YouTube and also has, adds other uh, useful features like profiles so that you can click on to easily switch between colors and stuff like that. Now, click on download, install the software, and that's that. Once you have installed the software, double click the Game Capture HD icon. Once the software opens, it should say no capture devices found. This is normal and this is okay. Alright, once you have installed the software on your computer, take your Game Capture HD and plug the USB in the back of your computer or the front. For me, it's the back. Plug it into any USB port available. All, all of them should be compatible. Next, plug it into your Game Capture HD. And that's it. Once you have plugged in your Game Capture HD, the Game Capture software should recognize it, but tell you that there is no HDMI input connected, which is true since we have not connected anything. It might take a little bit to recognize the signal. Sometimes it won't recognize the signal at all. Try closing the software and then opening it again, or try a different USB port with a Game Capture HD. Once you're in the software, click on the little settings icon. Now you have some options again. My preferred option is going to Other, since right now there is no PC option. Everything will work but PlayStation 3. You can choose Xbox 360, iPad, iPhone, Wii U, or Other. Again, for me, I choose other. Input should be HDMI without analog audio. HDMI color range should be expanded. Profile should be 1080p. Quality is something you need to choose for yourself. And then you want to click on preserve source format so that it will keep the 1080p capture from your PC. After that, and this is what you can mess around with later, is color and audio. But we'll get to that later. Then just hit OK and exit out of this. If you have completed the previous step and you've connected your PC with your monitor through HDMI, you're good to go. Unplug your monitor's HDMI cable and I have to untangle mine a little bit and plug it in to the Elgato's input which is on the opposite side of the USB cable. Again, at this point, nothing will pop up on your screen. Now, take your second HDMI cable, like so, plug it into the other end of your Game Capture HD, which is the output, like so, and then the other end of that cable, right here, goes into your monitor. If I can fit it in. There we go. Now your monitor should turn blue and if everything is done right 
the screen should turn on. Now, drivers should automatically detect whether you're on NVIDIA or AMD, it does not matter. Drivers should automatically detect that you've plugged in an HDMI cable and that the Game Capture HD is compatible. If not, you may need to go back to a previous step and configure your drivers to see the Game Capture HD. If you're like me and you're wondering, wait, how do I get audio through my headset if it's coming through my HDMI? Then you might or may not be in luck. For me, I have an Asus VS247HP monitor. These come equipped with an actual 3.5 millimeter out in the back, as you can see right there. This is very handy because when the HDMI, when audio goes through the HDMI, it is automatically converted to a standard headphone 3.5 millimeter plug, which you can plug in your headphones in. Now, I do not know how many monitors have this feature, and I know my monitor had it by luck. I just found this out while trying to do this on my own. I would check with your monitor if it has this. If it does not, I'll make another tutorial video of how to record audio. But if it does have this, then you're already good to go. Now, if you want to record your own voice using the Game Capture HD software, which it allows via live commentary, you can do this one of two ways. Either you have an external microphone like I do, and you can record it that way, or you can use your PC headset. Now, in my case, I had to actually split my PC headset wires, literally split them, because one end is going into the monitor in the back so I can hear my own audio, and the other end is going into the back via a USB adapter. This is the way that I did it. It may work for you this way, it may not. I may do a tutorial on how to do it in a different way in another video. Alright, once you have set all your audio settings up, you can go back to the Game Capture HD. Now, the game audio is everything that comes out of your PC via the HDMI. This can include Skype, your game audio, and everything else. This you can adjust via right here. For me, negative 8 dB is usually what I have it at. Now the live commentary, again, is my microphone, or that's where your microphone is in. Now I have two. I have a webcam, which is a shitty microphone, and then I have my headphone microphone. That's the one I usually use. And for me, at about negative 2 dB is usually good. And I do turn off automatically reduced game sound because it is, as of the latest beta, I'm pretty sure it is bugged and or I've never used it before. And then all you have to do to turn it on just click on live commentary and it should be working. As you can see right now, it is working and it is recording my voice. Once you go down, you can see the live streaming features, which is also again very nice. You don't have to use Twitch to live stream. You can use the in-game software, I'm sorry, uh, you can use this software to stream automatically and it does not add any more stress to your CPU. This way, you can be gaming and streaming on the same PC and you won't waste any CPU. And of course, down here, you can title your videos, your game, description, and tags, and whatnot. So, now I'm going to show how you can record some gameplay on the same PC. So what you could do is you can leave it like it is, or you can hit record. Either way, the Game Capture HD software supports one hour of flashback. So you could play a game for one hour, then go back and drag the slider all the way back. As you can see, it shows right where I set it up for the first time to now. So what I would do, I would just minimize it, open a game like Minecraft, log in, go to single player, start playing my game, exit, once I'm done, then I can go to my Game Capture HD, and you can see, if you scroll back, and I didn't play for very long, you can see right here, if you double click you can see it bigger, you can see 1080p Minecraft. Now, I'm recording this video with Fraps, so it might be a little choppy, and you can see the frame rate counter up there, but this is just for showing purposes. If you're recording with the Game Capture HD software, you will lose absolutely no frames. Maybe one or two, because it uses up a little bit more CPU, but what you can do to combat that is you can turn off the preview. 
if you do this, you can see my CPU usage right now is kind of high because of I'm using fraps. But if you have it on normally, your CPU usage might be at 30%. If you turn the preview off and just pause it, your CPU usage might go down to 10% or less, which is very handy. Alright, if you guys have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. If you guys like this tutorial, please leave me a like and a favorite. And if you guys have any friends who would you think need this, please share this video. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I will be bringing out more tutorials. My name is Lieutenant Wilshram. I will see you guys later. Bye.